Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm your migration friend and advisor. Today we are diving into the world of Australian immigration and uncovering the secrets of 189 visa. So without wasting any time, let's break it down. I will guide you through the process and offer tips to ensure a smooth application. On Google, we search for 189 points calculator. Make sure to click on the official Home Affairs website. So here we are going to select the Skill Independent Subclass 189 Visa. The basic factor for differentiation is age. In the drop down, select age group. I will select my age group, which is between 25 to 33 years. Next is your English language requirement. So competent English is minimum six each in all four sections of PTE or IELTS. Proficient is seven each. And for superior English, eight each in all sections. Let's aim for superior English. Next part is your overseas employment experience. Choose the category which fits you best. In my case, it is less than three years. Next one is your Australian employment experience. Select the category as per your experience. In my case, I don't have any Australian experience, so I will choose less than one year. For highest education, depending upon your recent qualification, please choose your relevant option. As most people do bachelor's or master's degree, so I'm going to select the second one. If you have finished any degree, diploma or trade course in Australia, take this as yes. If you have master's degree by research or doctorate from Australia, take it as yes, but I have done master's degree by coursework, so I'm going to select no here. Next one in the list is your naughty. If you have passed naughty exam, select as yes here. If you have finished your qualification from officially listed regional area of Australia, then select yes. If not, then select no. In my case, I didn't, so I'm selecting no here. If you have a partner, then this section depends upon them. You can see there's three options available in the drop down. In the first option, if your partner have six each in English and have a skill assessment for their job, then you can select the first option. If they do not work in the skill occupation, but have minimum six each in English test, then you can select the second option. And if you are single or your partner is an Australian citizen or permanent resident, then you can select the third option. Choose the category in which your partner fit into as I am a single applicant. So I will select the third option. If you have finished your professional year in Australia, take this as yes. I highly recommend doing professional year straight after your study finishes in any case. So these are the individual points I get for my selected options. Your points may vary depending upon your selections. My total points are 90, which are considered good for 189 visa depending on my occupation. Best of luck. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. It is free for you, but it helps us a lot.